Hibernoma is a benign lipomatous tumor which is composed of the cells that uh, resemble normal brown adipose tissue. It is usually a well-circumscribed lobulated lesion and it can be found in the subcutaneous tissue of the upper trunk uh, and uh, the neck. Microscopically we can find multiple cellular types. So here we have the normal adipocytes with clear cytoplasmic vacuole. Nuclei are pushed to the periphery here and here and the nuclei are bland and not atypical. Then we can see these granular cells with eosinophilic granular cytoplasm and centrally located round uh, to slightly oval shaped nuclei while well, mostly round. In some of these nuclei we can find small uh, single nucleolus. And here we have these brown adipose cells with multiple small vacuoles in the cytoplasm. Uh, the nucleus is uh, again centrally located and it can be associated with uh, inconspicuous small nucleoli. These multivacuolated uh, adipose cells sometimes resemble lipoblasts. Uh, however, lipoblasts are characterized by irregular nuclei, <coughs> and atypical nuclei, uh, which looks like uh, these va uh, adipose vacuoles bit out part of this nucleus. So that's not what we see here. So uh, this is not real lipoblast. Uh, this is just multivacuolated adipose cells. So in our differential diagnosis, uh, we always need to exclude atypical lipomatous tumor uh, or well-differentiated liposarcoma. That tumor would be associated with atypical uh, cells in the fibrous septi. Now that's not what we see here. Uh, also granular cell tumor is in our differential diagnosis, but the cellular granular cell tumor is composed mostly by these granular cells and we do not see normal adipocytes or multivacuolated adipose cells. The normal brown fat is uh, also commonly found uh, in some areas of the human body, but it does not create the lobular mass, so this is not the normal brown fat, uh, this is hibernoma. Thanks for watching.